I'm with Stuart Newton, who's VP of Corporate Strategy at Inequest, which is one of the uh, leading providers of video analytics for uh, TV operators and content providers. Stuart, how well placed are content providers and TV operators to make sense of the data available to them to improve the quality of experience for their, their users? It really depends on the expertise that the service provider or the content providers have and which parts of the end-to-end -end delivery infrastructure they can get, actually get access to. So many of the service providers will uh, own the entire head end through the distribution network, including the CDN maybe, uh, and also the client player. And in that kind of situation, they can actually instrument the entire chain and get analytics from the entire chain. Um, if they're a content provider, then they may only own the video head end and they may own the client app itself. So they may only have those two touch points that they can get to. One of the biggest issues facing the industry at the moment is that even if you can get the analytics from all these different points in the network and the clients, there is very little expertise in the industry to be able to correlate these kind of sources. So the, the data tends to go up into data silos. Uh, there could be a silo for the head end and the network part, and then a silo for the client analytics. And what we found is that uh, a lot of these service providers and content providers simply don't have the expertise to be able to correlate it. Uh, there's a shortage of data scientists as there is in the world, uh, but finding data scientists with video expertise is, uh, is, is a very rare thing. So, uh, so that's one of the biggest challenges that I see. Given those constraints, what are those companies prioritizing in the, the way they apply the use of data? If they own the video head end, then they will be collecting uh, video analytics from the video head end. One of the most important things to do is to make sure that the video coming out of the video head end before it's sent off to the CDN uh, provider, whether it's the same company or a third party CDN provider, is good. And uh, one of the reasons for doing that is that you need to stop the finger pointing. There's an awful lot of finger pointing going on in the industry today. And the content providers need to completely understand that the video that's coming out of their adaptive head end is good and that the content provider can't point the finger of blame back upstream unless it's a genuine uh, unless it's a genuine valid valid thing to do at the other end of the scale uh, a lot of the content providers they could be service providers as well are collecting the client analytics um, it's really important that those analytics are available um, in a very open way to the content providers and the service providers so they can slice and dice the data in whatever way they need to do uh, to be able to one, do the best customer experience management they can, but to correlate that data with what's going on upstream. And that's, that's one of the areas that we specialize in is that correlation. Now you've talked quite a bit about virtualization. What are the benefits of that and what do TV operators and content providers need to do to make the most of it? Um, the whole NFE, Network Functions Virtualization movement, has been, has been going on for several years now. Uh, we've actually been part of that, that movement um, pretty much since, since the, the start. Um, we, have done, uh, we have done a lot of proof of concepts in terms of taking video analytics and putting that into the virtualized world uh, over the last three years. And the reason we've done that is because the service providers eventually will provide fully virtualized end-to-end -end infrastructures for the delivery of video. Uh, the big challenge at the moment is that um, uh, we're moving into a lot of trials, initial pilots for, for virtualized head ends, virtualized network delivery of video. Um, there's a lot further to go in terms of uh, orchestration and management of virtualized infrastructures, and it, it's kind of moving forward one step at a time uh, over the years. Um, we're definitely seeing uh, a move forward this year in terms of virtualization projects and, and fortunately for us we've been we've, we've, you know, we've got three years of proof of concepts under our belt and uh, this year we announced that most of our solutions on the management and the data acquisition side are now available as scalable virtualized entities and that's one of the key things that the, that the service providers are going to face is uh, Virtualization gives you a lot more flexibility, um, both in terms of the hardware that you're using because of the, uh, the transparency of moving the virtualized instances around, but also in terms of scaling the video analytics. So uh, an example of that would be, instead of having to buy uh, a very powerful server to do, say, 400 streams or 500 streams simultaneously, uh, virtualization provides you with the ability to move the, the analytics and the monitoring further towards the contribution nodes and monitor less streams, but further towards the contribution points. And that's, that's a benefit that we're starting to see out in the industry, and we're, work, we're working on some of those projects today. So uh, virtualization will bring scale of analytics. It will bring 
uh, I'm, I'm guessing kind of ubiquity of, of, of analytics, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see where this goes. Now, there's a move at the moment to new video formats like HEVC and also the use of adaptive bitrate coding. What needs to be done to ensure that the migration towards those is, goes smoothly? So there's, there are a few things affecting uh, encoding technologies at this point in time. Um, the first one is to move to HEVC uh, for either moving to Ultra HD or, or for squeezing uh, more down the same pipe. Like you can use HEVC for, for HD and you can get much more compression on the data and get more, more channels down the same pipes. Uh, the second thing is to move to adaptive streaming. Uh, a lot of these, these transcoders now have to, have to produce multi-bit rate streams and uh, all of those streams need to be perfectly aligned so they don't cause issues downstream. Uh, the third one is the move to virtualization. So HEVC is just one element of, of what's affecting the, the head video head ends at this point in time. Uh, with the adaptive streaming and the virtualization, uh, there's, a, there's a whole new evaluation of encoders going on in the market, but there's also a new evaluation of uh, test tools for encoding and transcoding. And uh, one of the, one of the uh, new solutions we've announced this year is a product called Inspector Lab, and that is a new content inspection tool that can be used in the labs for doing encoder bake-offs, testing, uh, comparing the streams from different encoders, or for seeing how the quality is affected when you squeeze the number of bits down. So the more compression, uh, you can test whether if you're doing more compression, whether it actually affects the, the, the quality of the video. So you don't want to be sending video down a CDN, out through a CDN and wasting bits because you're not compressing it as much as you could do. So we're providing new capabilities that allow that. But the lab version of Inspector is also a sister product of our 24-7 live version of Inspector, which is sitting out in all these networks and allows you to uh, collect issues on the fly uh, using trigger capture and then bring those back into the lab and then use the lab tool to be able to do a deep diagnosis of, of what happened. And what other solutions uh, uh, is AnyQuest highlighting here at the show to tackle some of these uh, challenges? Everything we're showing here today in the demonstrations is running virtualized at the start. Uh, so we're following through on the announcement we made this year and we can actually um, talk about the virtualized uh, solutions that we have here today. Uh, one of the one of the key things that we're doing that's, that's uh, uh, getting a great response is we're uh, showing a correlation between the management of the head end and the network analytics with the client analytics. So we can do, uh, we like to show advanced impact analysis. So if an error comes in, if an alarm goes off within the network infrastructure or the head end and the alarm comes in, uh, the management system can dip into the client analytics system and determine how many people were watching this and what the impact was on that viewership because of that alarm. And, and that's brand new. That's something that uh, we don't believe anyone's done before in the industry. Um, it's very, very effective and it allows a direct correlation from that data up into uh, billing systems potentially for looking at uh, were VIP customers or were high revenue customers affected. So uh, virtualization, um, the end-to-end -end correlation of the video analytics is very powerful um, and the, um, ins the Inspector Lab product for advanced analysis of encoders at the head end.